so quantum computing um in short it changes how a our computer will operate and what it will allow it to do allow it to operate a lot quicker and um it has the potential to break current uh, encryption algorithms algorithms that we use um in everyday it uh, business and communications so in layman's terms quantum computing is kind of like the ultimate supercomputer really yes it's kind of in comparison we're using a calculator to a smartphone that kind of yeah that, that kind of jump yeah wow okay right and and what should i be concerned about in quantum? because this sounds brilliant for me as a business more powerful computing brilliant what's what's the risk um so the risk is is it's um ability to break encryption and um, so currently um current computing power if you were to put it against um a modern encryption algorithm um it take millions and millions and millions of years to to crack that um quantum computing uh, current estimates could probably crack some of that in five days with where it's approaching obviously the big concern is that um the institute in america that um recommends cybersecurity guidelines NIST they reckon that uh or reckon that it, we need to have it uh quantum um be quantum ready by 2035 but a talk that I attended in DEFCON says that um current indicators uh are leaning towards it will need it for 2030 so yeah five years sooner than than even uh, American institutions expected. Wow! So we're looking to have this technology. Are we? Are we ready for it? Are we? Are businesses ready? Is there? Is there encryption out there that is proof for it? Are we? So there is encryption, um, or what they call quantum uh, resistant encryption, that uh, that has been developed and is um, able to um, resist against these uh, quantum breaking attacks. Um, I think the the worry is that a lot of businesses will not be ready uh, yet. Um, so that's what we'll be doing is at IT desk will be analyzing that, obviously making sure we're ready for it first, seeing where we can implement them quantum resistant algorithms, and uh, keeping a close eye on on um, on the landscape.